Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to this guide on installing the mods that I use in my Let's Play series. I record this guide uh, somewhere between episode 18 and 19, so yeah. Um, there uh, have been some changes from the first few episodes of course, but don't worry, uh, you should be up to speed and I haven't put up any world downloads yet. I think I'll do one at episode 20. Anyhow, let's get started. There are a few things you need to do first of all. You need to get MultiMC. MultiMC, what is that? Well, it is a tool, a custom launcher that helps you install mods quickly and easily. Uh, there is a link in a document that you will get with this guide. So, here it is. You get it from the Minecraft forums. It's super simple. Just uh, go into their link for download MultiMC and follow all the links there on how to do it. It's not difficult. I will say one thing though. This guide takes a bit of time for you guys to get through. Um, there are a lot of mods that you need to download. There are a lot of AdFly links that you need to click and uh, it takes quite some time to get everything set up. I have spent countless hours on getting the IDs uh, to where I want them, but I will upload the ID files, well the config files for my mods. So um, let's uh, get started with MultiMC. Um, this is, by the way, uh, what uh, you will get from me, these three files. This is the configs file, these are the download links, and this is the installation document, which uh, pretty much tells you uh, uh, how to do this. Well, almost. You will have to follow the instructions that I give in this little let's install video. Okay, so let's uh, fire up MultiMC. So you can see it creates a couple of files here, just versions, uh, stuff like that. This is a nice little tool, but uh, we'll start with the simplest part. Create a new instance. This is where we put in the name of our mod pack. I'll just do mod pack. Okay. Simple as that. Uh, as you can see, it created uh, another folder called instances in that mod pack. And uh, some things in there. I'll show you that in a bit. Now we need to install Minecraft. Well, how do you do this? Well, simply, you start up Modpack. Now you need to type in your username, password, and uh, click on Remember Username and Password if you want to. I usually do this. Easier to start up the game. Uh, but, of course, it's all up to you. You don't have to remember the password. But, yeah, it's like the Minecraft launcher, really. And then, of course, you press Login. Now, if you give me a moment, I will type this in and hit login. Okay. I click login and it says downloading packages. Once it has done this, you should see a Minecraft window opening. I hope. Oh, yes. Perfect. Ta da! Minecraft 1.2.5. As far as I know, this tool cannot downgrade your Minecraft, but uh, there might be other ways to do this. Okay, so let's uh, quit the game. And you get back into MultiMC. Now if you go into the Instances mod pack, you'll see a .minecraft folder. And this is really Minecraft, as it is in the, um, as it is in the normal uh, install. Perfect. So, let me just minimize that one. What to do next? What to do next? Well, you need to start installing the mods. Uh, let me show you. You right click on your uh, mod pack uh, icon. Here you can rename it, change the icon. Wow, let's put a diamond for it. And uh, you can put in notes. An awesome list of mods. I don't know what that's shown. Huh. Okay. Um, you can manage the saves. Well, we don't have any yet. But you can also edit mods. This is where the good stuff happens. Look at this. You have several different uh, tabs up here. 
Um, uh, basically, the Minecraft.jar, which is the for mods that go into the jar file, like for instance Minecraft Forge or Optifine, things like that. So, the mods tab, well that's for, uh, yeah, you get it, the ones that goes into the mods folder. And of course resources, this is where stuff like sound, extra files that we don't use end up. But this is not one where you can put stuff as far as I know, so let's not work with that. Instead, let's uh, fire up this. We click on the Add button, and we go into uh, the place where we put the files. Um, I split them up here between uh, jar and mods. Okay. Uh, the jar folder is the ones that go into the jar file, and uh, mods is the one that goes into the mods file. I have this listed up on uh, the installation document uh, inside here, so it should help you sort it out easier. So let's go into YAR and choose Minecraft Forge Client 3.3.8.160. Open. That's really all you need to do. The mod is now installed. Simple, isn't it? Okay. For this to work, we need to rebuild the jar. This is done automatically when you hit play, but uh, just to be sure, do it uh, when you change the mods that you have here. So let's do that. Okay, let me just uh, log in for you here. And Minecraft should start up with Minecraft Forge. One mod lo loaded, and well, that's Minecraft Forge. There are no child mods, and that's about it. The reason why we want to do this is that the next step we need to put in the configuration files. I use 7-zip, you could use uh, whichever zip file manager you want to use, but I highly recommend 7-zip. It's never failed me. So, um, uh, let's uh, open up the configs file. The reason why we'll put this in now is that this will save us a lot of headaches later. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of uh, different uh, little add-ons here. Um, the GS config is for Greenstone mod, which I will not install in this guide. Uh, it is a mod that you install separately, so I recommend you download it uh, and follow its instructions. Um, it's not terribly difficult to install. And uh, I wonder, yeah, that program, we can just delete that one. You don't need that one. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. All I need to do is, frankly, just pull all these over into the instance. If you didn't see, I clicked this button, View Instance Folder. It will take me to the list of uh, instances that I have. Let's do that again. I mark up the mod pack and click view instance folder and I head over to mod pack Minecraft and we're in there okay so let's copy this yes it already contains a folder named config so yes let's just uh, do this for all conflicts copy and replace now we should actually have all the settings that we need we don't have the mods yet so let's do that now we would have to close that one. We don't need it really. Now, go to Edit Mods. Now we need to add every one of them. As you can uh, probably see in the installation document, which I highly recommend that you have open while watching this. So I'm gonna wait for a second here and let you open that file. Ah, yeah, that's about enough time you need, right? You can pause the video if you need more, that is. So, let's install Code Chicken Core. Let's get the Player API client, the Player API render, Optifine. Not enough items. Raise minimap and miscraft. 
Let's close this, rebuild the jar, and I'll be back uh, once I've logged into the game. You know how to do it, you click on play or just double click and choose login. Be right there. And we have a started game. Awesome. So let's uh, quickly check this. If we go into mods, it will list a couple of them, not all. For instance, uh, it doesn't look like it's listing Mistcraft. But that's because it doesn't use the mod loader system at all or the mod system for um, Forge. So you have several different mods here. No metadata. metadata. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, hop back into MultiMC real quick. Alright, so once you have the mods in the jar file installed, it doesn't really matter that much how you install the ones in here. Um, as you can see here, I got the both uh, 2771 and the 29 beta of uh, Mine and Blade. You can choose which one you want. The 2771 is stable with this setup and uh, I haven't had any problems with it. But I wanted to try out the new features in 2.9, so yeah, you can use 2.9 if you want. Um, uh, otherwise, it's pretty much straight forward. There is a mod that I need to uh, instruct you on a few things, but I'll do that separately once we have this all loaded. So if you have these uh, files, all these mods, as you can see, the furniture mod, advanced machines, yes, I got that one working, uh, the build craft stuff, you have the decorative mod, uh, equivalent exchange, forestry, industrial craft, so on. Thumbcraft and Red Power and Wireless Redstone, all these nice mods. Well, if you have all these, you can just add them, all of them, in a row, like this. You just shift click, click the first one, shift click the last one, and click open. It will not be listed here, but if you close this window and go back to edit mods, there they are. Now, the cool thing with this is that, um, well, basically this will move all these little mods that you put into the folder here into the mods folder. So this will be just as if you install it manually with, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, the normal Minecraft folders. So yeah, really neat. So, let's fire it up and see if it works. Now, it does take a little bit longer when you uh, start the game this way. But, uh, once it is loaded, which should be any moment now, Minecraft, come on, you can do this. There we go, 43 mods loaded. Awesome. So, Let's check the mods. No, just kidding. It's going to take too long. Um, you should see that uh, Optifine is installed properly. I'm going to put it to max FPS. Uh, I got a settings file which I will include. I will, I will not include it actually uh, because it's very much individual. Uh, the settings you use might not work uh, on my computer and the other way around. But. Uh, let me just show you real quick uh, what I usually put. I do clear water, smooth biomes, random mobs, yeah, pretty much the standard settings. I sometimes increase the cloud height to about 50, and that should be that. Normal plus 80 is usually what I record at. So let me just maximize this and uh, go into my normal recording mode because now it's in screen capture mode which is 20 frames per second. I'd rather have it at 30 or 60 or something. So be right there. <laughs> okay, so let's just, for the fun of it, try it out. Test of mod pack. Well, we're building terrain, saving chunks, Simulating the world and 
Yay, we have a world. Again. <laughs> Look at this. Looks a bit odd. Oh, there it is. And things seem to work out pretty well. Um, you will need to do a few things in the config settings. Okay? I'll walk you through it. If you go into the controls, you will see that you have a lot of red letters here. Okay? Um, let's start from the top here. Grab needs to be staying at control or whatever you want it to, really. I usually move list players to the numpad plus key, zoom to the numpad zero, draw weapons is usually X for me. Uh, I don't use the mod list at all, really. So let's put that on. Let's put that on the L key. I don't use that one. Boost key. I can't remember which one that is. So let's put it on F. And sort inventory. I usually put on decimal. Let's put it on numpad minus. Um, the reason is I don't want it on something that I type often. Okay, that looks about right. You might want to config that for whatever you want to use. Now I can use smart move like this. Awesome. And uh, it seems like this is working fine. Perfect. And uh, the animations seem to be working. I can crawl, I can jump, I can sprint, I can climb. Yeah, seems to be working. Neat. Awesome. Really like this. So, yeah guys, that's um, pretty much how you get this whole thing configured. I usually change the key config for uh, the map. The standard key is M. Um, I usually put that on, I think it's period, and then uh, uh, set waypoint on comma. Toggle render type on the um, other minus key. This is really for your own setting, depending on how your key layout is. There we go. And I got waypoints. See? All these settings are totally individual, and I'm going to leave you guys to decide which ones you want. Um, so, yeah. There is only one more thing to do to see if this really works, okay? And that is to see if my world loads up. So, I'll be right back once I have checked this with you guys. I'll show you how to do it as well. Okay, so when you have my nice little zip file of my world download, once it is uh, ready, uh, all you need to do is open it up with your favorite program. Yes, I use 7-zip. You go into this one, select uh, this button here which says View Instance Folder. You go into Mod Pack, Minecraft, and Saves. Okay. Uh, you remember we uh, named our world Test of Mod Pack! Exclamation mark there, yes. All you need to do is to pull this folder out of there into the save. Awesome. That's all you need to do. It is that simple. And, uh, interesting. You get all the different little versions of programs here and the region. This one is the interesting part. You see a lot of regions here. Yeah, that's um, 93 megabytes. It's a fairly big world. It's because I've been running around trying to find the new cool chunks. So, let me start it up and I'll see you once we've... And it seems to work quite fine. I have uh, hidden the minimap for you guys. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but... I've been building a little bit uh, on uh, the site that you have chosen and uh, yeah you'll see more about that once I upload episode 19 so I don't want to spoil anything it has taken quite some time though so as you can see my client star is almost up to 9 million EMC wow so yeah 
it worked. It started up, and uh, you can guess the site I'm at. Oh yes, not going to give you any more than this, guys. But I will see you in episode 19. And for those of you who watch this uh, when uh, the series start as episode 0 in the playlist, well, you're in for a ride and there are a lot of changes and cool things. So, I'll see you in the Let's Play series. Bye guys!